Hey Brian, hey just gonna take a minute here and make you a video going over your mini Moog. Uh, I've got it finished up today and it's all back together and playing great. I did a calibration this morning on it and it's held calibration all day so it's uh, it's you know it's doing really good as far as tuning goes. Um, but yeah it's just a much different instrument than it was on arrival. Uh, the keyboard was the primary focus when I got this thing in as you know from the messages I sent you. So I spent a lot of time getting this keyboard uh, adjusted right, uh, shimming it up so it sets right in the chassis. So now you can see the gap if you look at your LHC. You see the back of the key, the height of it versus the front of the key, and that's, that's evenly across from front to back. So spent a lot of time getting all that shimmed up. I took care of the, the keys that were missing the little lobes we had mentioned. Uh, so replaced I think about five of those things uh, that just were missing. And got all the keys leveled out. I uh, got everything set where it needs to be set, and it just really does play great. The keys, all the keys work. Um, also gave you the dead zone mod because once I got this thing kind of back together after cleaning the pots and everything, uh, I quickly realized just how sensitive your pitch wheel was, and so I went on and just did the dead zone mod because it just really needed it. Plus, it makes this thing way more playable. Um, that's just a horrible thing about mini Moogs, uh, all of them. So I just want to replace those for you, and uh, it's just a fantastic instrument. I think you're going to be really happy with it. Let me put the camera on the tripod. I'm just going to walk you through the sound of this thing. I'll just give you a good overview of it real quick. Um, I'm not going to do everything like I typically do. I'm just short on time this 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 week, unfortunately. But uh, I'm going to give you a good walk through anyway, so you can hear this thing. As you can hear, here's our all three oscillators on. <laughs> It's got a great tone now, it's all calibrated. Um, I'll go through each oscillator like I typically do. I'm going to start by showing you this dead zone mod because that's something that's really nice on this mini mug. So if I hit a note, just wiggle the wheel in the detent, you'll hear it won't affect tuning. As you can hear. So it makes a huge difference to the playability of this instrument uh, just having that. Um, but I'll go through your footages here for oscillator. Uh, oscillator one. Let me open this filter up here. This thing to sustain for. Me. I cleaned the volume pots. Uh, they were really dirty. Here it's got a nice smooth response now. Also clean all the flip switches. So that's oscillator one. Here's oscillator two. Oscillator 2. Also, I cleaned the frequency detune part. I'll go back and show you that in a minute. So, here's oscillator 3. Oscillator 2 in the frequency detune. So you can hear your oscillators, they work fantastic. 
I also calibrated the filter. We'll turn the oscillators off. Let me show you the noise source right quick. So the noise source now, this white and pink noise switch works. As you can hear, and I also cleaned the volume uh, for noise. So there's your noise source, all your oscillators. Now let's go to the filter. We'll make it self-oscillate here. We'll turn on the 440 hertz. I set up just a hair. I uh, put the back panel on. I put the back panel on since I've calibrated the filter. But uh, you can hear it actually does track pretty well. Once I calibrate it, it'll be a little bit sharper in. But filters never hold exact because they're just filters. They don't have all the thermal compensation stuff like the oscillators. So it does make a difference. Um, we'll turn on the uh, oscillators again. I'll show you that your filter in, uh, envelope works. So bring up the mail. Turn the oscillators back off. Contour. So we'll go here and turn everything to zero. So here's your decay. As you can hear, that's your decay. We got the attack. got the sustain level. As you can hear. So there's your, your primary functions of this unit. You also got your uh, modulation. Now the modulation does bleed through on this one a little bit. Unfortunately there's not much that can be done. It's actually a mini mog design flaw. Uh, all of them seem to, do, seem to do this. Some do it worse than others. If we go up here and make this a uh, uh, LFO for oscillator uh, 3. And by that light you just saw flash my refrigerator interacts with these things so it just kicked off so it made the overload light kick on. They all do that. We can modulate the filter. Works, we can also in inject noise. And also 
how your glad works. That's all of them set to two footage. You hear how great those oscillators are holding together there. your mini mug. I just want to take a minute here and make you a little video going over it for you Brian and uh, so you can just kind of, kind of see what you're getting back here. Uh, thanks again and I'll be in touch. Take care.